Hey everybody, Paul again, and today we're going to continue on. I was doing the rear brake job yes, last week. Uh, well, I was doing a rear brake job and then I got kind of flooded out. So the car's been sitting up on stands for about a week and a half now because I'm finally now able to get back to this. But when we left, you saw brake fluid shooting out of the cylinder on the passenger side. So I've gone down, it's about $13 to get a replacement cylinder. And uh, I'm going to show you how to swap those out. So let's get back to it. I'm going to get this thing, the old one off, put the new one on. We'll get the brakes back on there, new pads, and get it going. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take all these, all these springs off. Once again, these two are going to come out. Everything's going to come off the brakes and everything so that we can get to that cylinder. our broken cylinder right here it's actually sprung a leak in this boot and if I push it I'm not even sure you can see that but it's it's uh, cracked and uh, brake fluids coming out that side so I'm glad this happened so we can take care of it while we're changing the brakes and we'll switch out both sides so getting back here I can feel back here it looks like I've got two 10 millimeter sockets and, uh, and we've got the power brake line uh, looks like you get a 10 millimeter socket I'm guessing at the moment so I'm gonna go grab my sockets and uh, we'll get this thing off here important thing to know on the back of the cylinder right here you can see we've got I've got uh, 10 millimeter that's a 10 millimeter bolt that goes on on both sides of these on the back of the uh, shielding for the uh, brakes and then you've got this guy right here this is your your brake fluid feed line and in order to get the one off of the truck, you're going to need a flare nut wrench. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's a 9 16 wrench. Uh, I started out using a regular wrench and almost stripped it. Then I went and got the flare nut wrench. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a lip here, a little hook so it touches more of the sides. That's what you're going to need to get that off. close and we're gonna see if we can show you right there you'll see uh, back it up right there you'll see that that's the rip in the boot cover so this is bad we're gonna put in a new one so really all we got to do is we're gonna take this stop out of here right and then this this little stopper here can fit over the bleed nipple nipple 
bleed nipple, bleed nipple, and it'll sit right like that. Then we go put it on. Okay, so what we got here is the new cylinder in place. We're gonna test it. I'm gonna zoom in. We're gonna see if that little piston comes out or not. Push it. Let go. Push the brake. No, I said go. Is it in? Let it go. What are we doing? Got a little bit of grease. It's just like a lay scoop. Take this end off. Put a little bit of grease just on the end of that. That way it spins nice and pretty. Okay, so testing your brakes after you do a brake job, and in this case after we replace the cylinders, is a really good idea. Um, I have a tendency, I like to test them before I actually put the vehicle on the ground and have it move under its own power so I at least have some comfort level that it's going to do what I think it's going to do. So here we go, we're, we're turning, are you, are you hitting the brake? So we're turning, all's good. Can you hit the emergency brake, sir? Now we got nothing, no grip. All right, can you release the emergency brake? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to release it. You have to push it in and really pop it. No, I know it's out, but it didn't release. Now pull it hard. There we go. <laughs> Old trucks. So now we gotta move. Now I need you. Can you give me pressure on the brakes? All the way. Release. See? Alright, do it again. See, I got no movement here. Okay, release. Are you on the brake? Okay, no, it's, it's okay. All right. Now we've changed out the brakes. We're going to top up some fluid. All right, so here's the moment of truth. <laughs> we got the got the brake on, brakes are on, and I'm just going to kind of, I got the truck started and charged up. It's running. So we're just testing it out. That's good. Stopped. <laughs> it's always a good sign, right? It's nice and good. It stopped. So now let's try slower stop. I like it. No squeaking. Everything worked. So I'm going to take it for a ride around the block and we'll see what it does. 
I thought it'd be kind of cool, and I'll probably do that in my next video. As uh, have show you what it's like to rebuild a cylinder, and we've got our uh, we've also got the uh, it's our one year anniversary coming up, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little retrospective, kind of look back on what we did over the last year and kind of how the channel's grown and the things we're doing. So it's kind of exciting. Looking forward to it. Take a little vacation. It's hot. It's like 100 degrees out today. So let's get the truck out. Tyler uh, no longer owns this truck. Or he doesn't want it anymore. He's gone and purchased himself a new car. Or newer. So that works out great for us. And I don't have to worry so much about, oh, how's Tyler going to get to work when I go to try and do some work on this truck and try and do projects. But uh, yeah, brakes feel good. They don't feel bad. Just going around the block here, kind of testing it a little out. A lot of things need to be done to this truck. The irony, as soon as he sold it, I've already had uh, you know several people express some interest in it, and it's kind of a it's a tough one. It's like, do I sell it, get my money back, I gotta keep working on it? I think I'm gonna keep working on it. I like the truck. Uh, it's good to have a little truck, and so it's a uh, it's gonna be a project we stick with. So there you go, and there you go. Back brakes, cylinders, all looks good. Tires back on it. Everything's running the way I want it to. I'll see you next time. All right, so here you go. There's the rim right here. And actually, this is really. Let's see if we can see this. Uh, I'm trying to tell. Yeah, yeah, you can see. It. There's a, there's a tear right there in this boot. Okay. <laughs> Oops. And now there's oil all over this camera monitor and the screen. So I'm gonna clean all that up and, and we'll uh, get the new one on and uh, swap it out. And there's freaking wasps there. Nobody wants to go. All right, here we go. already.